number one. So let's see what your oracle cards start with, and then we'll clarify with tarot. You definitely do want to change to make your life better. And it seems like you are actively working on that. Um, the biggest message that's keeping you from your biggest growth um, is no more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood which are never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Um. So the biggest thing I'm hearing from that is it's those times that you're complaining about how hard it is or you're complaining in general, then it's that's actually keeping you stuck where you don't want to be. One way of kind of trying to override that is um, really start putting more focus on your 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 craft or your your trade, whatever it is that you're doing that's really helping you to grow. Focus, put more focus on that. Especially if it's something that you aspire to do as a job. Yeah, for sure. Especially, or even if you don't consider doing it as a job, but you feel like that it's a, a part of your foundation, put more focus on that because that's going to be a really beneficial way for you to make leaps and bounds in your growth. And whoever you're complaining to, if you can tell that they kind of don't want to listen to your complaining, ask them to help you with this. So whenever, a lot of times, um, complaining, it's like a habit. And when you're breaking a habit, it takes, it takes consistency, practice, and time. And forgiveness, that, that helps. But if you, if, Especially it's like you call someone whenever you want to complain to. Tell them, look, I, I need to stop complaining. So whenever I start complaining, say something. Or, you know, like try to make some kind of deal with them so that way they can help you come out of that. Yeah. And as soon as you kind of start to change this behavior, you're really going to start to see growth like the growth that you're looking for. Good luck. And number two. So let's take a look at your Oracle cards. And if we need to, we'll clarify with tarot.
Um, so you definitely do want to live a, a better life. You have a dream and you have this kind of life that you want for yourself and you see for yourself and you can have it, but you get scared and run off anytime that you have to do something that you think is scary. And that's really keeping you from living your life. Honestly, the, the whole point of living your life is to conquer these fears. Because every time you conquer a fear, you push through it, doors open up, life gets better. Every time. Every time. There's always something better on the other side of fear. And that's keeping you from going into this dream. The, you get overwhelmed with kind of, you get overwhelmed with thinking about different things that you would need to have in order for this to work. And those things are way down the line that you don't even need to be worrying about right now, but you can't help it. They just kind of all start piling up like, Oh, what about this and this and this and this and this and this, <laughs> it, it gets big. Um, you have to let go of this idea that it's going to be perfect. The first time you do anything sucks, period. Hard reality check. It only starts getting better when you do it more often. And the only way that, or not the only way, but um, the main way the universe is saying to kind of get over this is to go find your happy place. You know, when you're sitting by yourself at home or in your special little place, take that feeling with you. So whenever it's like you're trying to go out in public somewhere and you're kind of get this crippling fear, take that feeling with you as you go in. And then once you get through that fear and you start doing it more often, it's no longer a fear. It's no longer a problem. And then you're moving on up. There's always going to be a fear. Otherwise you would, you would quit growing like there, you become stagnant and that's not good. <laughs> so it's like, there's always, there is always going to be something, but that's growth, but it's never going to come up until you pass the level before it. So these things that you're all worried about that are way over here, they're not going to be a problem because you haven't done all the steps to get there. actually want to change to make your life better. Ah, there's hope. All right. Whew. A lot of heartache, a lot of pain. A lot of fear we were talking about that but um, all of these things that have happened to you you will heal from as long as you keep making these little baby steps of conquering your little fears even if that just means going outside and checking the mail that is once one step closer to you 
getting that life that you want. So when you go check the mail, just take your happy place feeling with you. Go check the mail and then come back and go back to your happy place. And just keep practicing that. And then pretty soon you'll be able to get bigger and bigger. And you can do this. There is absolutely hope and, and a, a desire to do this. And I believe in you. So good luck. And number three. So let's get started on your oracle cards. Well, you definitely you definitely change um, you know you you want and you actually you experience life and happiness and change and excitement and focus like you look pretty well balanced so congratulations this is beautiful um, the only we'll read this advice card and it says savings as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. energy it's um, <clears throat> hopeful and nice it's nice thank you for coming to my reading because you know just don't get this kind of stuff often and it's nice yeah you definitely you're working on a passion project I mean, we kind of got that from the card So if you needed, I'm getting more that this is just a confirmation that you are changing, you are making a difference, and you're healing, and you are on the right path. Yep, we're going to take the one. Yep, there we go. <laughs> um, it's a fool, and that's, I mean, you don't get a better, you want to change card than that. So if you were having any kind of doubts about anything that you've been doing, this is a sol a hard, everything that you've gone through, everything you're doing, it's all part of your path. It's all part of it. There's nothing that, there's no, you know, if you feel like you wasted time doing something, it wasn't a waste of time. It had to go that long in order for you to get to the place that you are now. And and to continue down this path that you are just doing great at. So, good job. That is amazing. And keep going. You're doing great. Good luck. Hi, number four. So let's take a look at your oracle cards. Let's see what's going on. Um, off the top, I'm getting, you're following your heart and it's it's different it's scary it's exciting it's magical 
feel like you're floating or falling and you feel like you're flying or stuck but that's that's part that is all part of following your heart which is beautiful so the times that you feel like you don't want to go on or you don't want to change that's all part of the process being stuck is still a lesson it's but you still want to try to get out of it and you do you do always get out of it even when you feel like that you're not doing well you're doing exactly what you need to be doing <clears throat> and you're definitely like full focus on this path that you're on which is beautiful and the universe is saying that the messages that you've getting <laughs> yeah for sure the messages that you've been getting in every form especially dreams are you're you're doing you're doing great and I want to say don't doubt yourself but doubts just that's part of a human nature so it's and that's also kind of conquering your fear and you know it's like whenever you doubt it's like that's when you got to take another leap so try to try to change a little bit how you view doubting yourself be getting um, you will be getting the the abundance and the fulfillment that you are going after will happen um, <clears throat> that's different for everybody but it will happen and actually you know what we'll get the advice from the from the card words of abundance you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful positive words always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms and that is what you attract for yourself and others i feel like you already do that so if that that was more just confirmation than anything but what the what what you're looking for will come um, it looks like um, what you're doing is gonna bring you peace ultimately before it'll really bring a full happiness that you're looking for um, and don't take peace as apathy. Peace is that perfect balance between it, it's that that void where you can find the, find the right answers and the right decisions where there isn't any doubt. As soon as you can really focus and hone in on that peace, then you can really make a lot of steps really fast.
Um, <clears throat> okay, well, <clears throat> it looks like that there's get some clarification first. Okay. <clears throat> so a relationship ended <clears throat> and it was painful and just all bad. <laughs> um, I'm getting part of the issue is that you're, you're, you give more than you take. And it leaves you in a place where you don't have anything left for yourself and therefore you can't give any more <clears throat> and it just it's gets all nasty. So if you can find Okay, <clears throat> so there's something that you, you do enjoy doing, and this is a general read, so it's just, it's something that actually recharges you, um, even if it's reading a book, but there is something that recharges you. That if you can make more room for that in your life, then this won't be so complicated and you can actually have that relationship that you're looking for. But you have to, <clears throat> you have to make room for yourself in your relationship and not just all about them. And a good way to practice that is to make more time for yourself doing the things that recharge you. Anything that makes you feel better. Because then when you feel better, you look better, and you do better, then everything else in your life gets better, including your relationship. Because this is like, the main focus. So I, I'm getting that you you do hold on. <clears throat> so do you actually want to change to make your life better? Uh, okay, well, if you don't want to change, <clears throat> all right, it's 50-50. So some of you do, some of you don't, <laughs> which doesn't really seem to help much. <clears throat> but um, the ones 
that want to change are the ones that are willing to make room for the things that they love to do. Those are the ones that do actually want to change and the ones that will change. The ones that are still all tied up in the despair of this relationship not working, you, you guys are just going to end up stuck and then going backwards. And then you're going to end up even more tied up and even more nasty than you are right now. So that was just confirmation for what I just said. So the ones that the, the ones that are willing to make room for doing the things that make them feel better, you guys are going to be A-OK. -okay. The other ones that just want to roll around in your shit until you want to change, you're just going to keep getting worse. So good luck.